Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you about what the difference is between a polygenic trait and multiple alleles. A lot of people have been getting these two things mixed up. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is, um, first we'll just talk about multiple alleles. Okay, multiple alleles um, is a situation where instead of having just a dominant gene and a recessive, or I'm sorry, a dominant allele and a recessive allele, two versions of a gene, we have more than one that are dominant or recessive. So the classic example is blood type. We talk about this all the time in class. Um, there are several different kinds of blood type, and we usually just talk about the ABO group. There's also the RH factor. We're not going to talk about that right now. Um, a and B are both codominant, and then we also have the O type of blood. Um, and then as you know, there's also type AB. Um, the way this works is that in order to have type A blood, you've got to have um, an allele for type A, at least one allele for type A. You could have an allele for A and then another allele for A, or you could have an allele for A and an allele for O. Now this, like I've told all my students, this is sort of like the, the middle school way to draw things. Um, what we'd really do in this case is we'd use the actual notation. It's a lowercase i um, and a capital superscript A. So this would be the actual genotype for this first one, and then the second one would be little lowercase i with a superscript A, and then just a lowercase i by itself. Okay, those are the two options to have type A blood. To have type B blood, you would have lowercase i superscript B, maybe two copies of that, or you could have this type, genotype. And, and then the other option is to have type AB blood. They're, a and B are codominant, remember, so if you ended up with an allele for A and an allele for B, you would end up with type AB blood. And then the other option, again, is type O blood, where we have no superscript letters. This would be the recessive, okay? Um, and this is O is recessive to both A and B. So as you can see, we have more than one allele. We don't have just a dominant and recessive. We have dominant A, dominant B, and then recessive type O. So that's what we mean by multiple alleles. And there are several other examples that you can find in your textbook. Now I want to talk about what it means to have a polygenic trait. So polygenic traits, what that means, the word polygenic um, or polygenes, what this means, let's just write polygenic, that'll make more sense. Polygenic, what that means is many genes, okay? So it's not just one gene with several alleles. It is, it is more than one gene. So if this is a chromosome set, a pair of chromosomes, we've got a gene here and a gene here and a gene here and a gene here and a gene here. Five genes that all work together to form a phenotype. So five genes trickling down to one phenotype. Now, as you know, we've talked about this many times, um, one gene codes for one protein, and, and this is the central dogma of biology, but we could have more than one gene forming parts of a protein that work together, and that's a really advanced topic that I can go into in another video. But if you can just think about proteins working together to form this phenotype, it makes you who you are. So there are many genes uh, working together. You know, for example, this first one could be a plus sign, and then maybe you've got an, a minus dominant and recessive, or maybe another dominant recessive, and maybe this third gene is recessive, recessive, and the fourth one is recessive, recessive, and the fifth one is recessive, recessive. So there are two dominant copies of that allele, and the rest are recessive copies. And that combination might produce one phenotype, and then there might be a different combination to produce a different phenotype. The classic example of this is skin color in humans. There are actually six, or I think it's six different alleles that we talk about coding for the pigment in our skin. And um, this is why there are so many different varieties of skin colors. There are many different uh, combinations of pigmentation that produce all the different uh, shades of skin that we see in our societies. <clears throat> so again, polygenes, just talking about many genes forming one phenotype and multiple alleles meaning only one gene, only one location on a chromosome, but several different possible alleles. Thanks for watching.